April 3rd, 2011. Equestria Daily Forums. A peculiar game was posted that changed the site forever. Let's rewind. My Little Pony. Everyone on the internet has been exposed to it in some way, whether you grew up with the original or current incarnation, or rather spent hours sharing a laugh with the homies over brony cringe compilations. Love it or hate it, the MLP fandom has sunk its tentacles into every facet of internet culture from literature, memes, and even video games. But, with a fandom so big and deeply ingrained into society comes controversy, and the MLP fandom harbors some dark secrets. Many of you may have heard names like Cupcakes or Sweet Apple Massacre, disturbingly grimdark pieces of literature featuring mutilation, rape, and other horrifying depictions brought onto the once cutesy cartoon animals. Many of these creations are left without creators, choosing to remain anonymous, adding to the heavy fog of mystery surrounding it. Tonight, we look at one of those mysterious contributions to the horror aspect of the MLP community. This is Luna Game. On April 3rd, 2011, a download link for an executable file to a game was posted to the popular MLP discussion forums, Equestria Daily. This posed as an already odd feeling, as most games that were posted to the forums were usually flash games from sites like DeviantArt and Newgrounds that could be embedded and played from a web browser, yet this had to be downloaded and ran from a hard drive. The game was seemingly a simple platformer made in the Game Maker engine featuring a custom sprite of Princess Luna, a central character in the Friendship is Magic series, and the main antagonist of Season 1. The gameplay and graphics are very simple, featuring randomly placed platforms with simple dirt grass textures. It is also really short, only allowing 20 seconds of gameplay before one of two images are presented. An image of a zalgified Pinkie Pie, or an ominous image of Apple Bloom staring at you as the game locks up your computer causing some form of restart such as Task Manager or Signing Out. When players looked to where the game was installed, they were met with a multitude of image files with the title The End Is Nay, along with a text file bearing the same phrase. The files had to be manually deleted afterwards, causing more annoyance than actual horror at that point. After it was downloaded and played by several members of the Equestria Daily forums, many thought it was a violent and malicious virus disguised in an innocent fan creation. Later that same day the game was posted, the original post was taken down by Equestria Daily admins. Site founder Sethisto later stated in a post that the forums would no longer accept links to games that required downloads. Alright, I'm done with yo-yo games. I thought they screened their stuff, but I guess not. Yo-yo games or any other plug-in requiring game sites is now banned, so don't send them. DA slash Newground slash other sites that don't require a download are perfectly fine. I apologize to everyone that was exposed to the Luna. The person that made it says he slash she sent it to someone else and to get some feedback and that she slash he got that back. However, this was not enough to stop. The Curse of Luna Game. Luna Game got four sequels and a prequel, further delving into the madness. Luna Game 2 is more or less a remake of the original Shock Game, submitted May 30th, 2011 to Equestria Gaming. It featured an improved sprite of Luna that looks a little less like it's been in a microwave. Instead of the 20 second playtime period, you are now tasked with traversing a world similar to the first game, being met with another image of Zalgified Pinkie Pie before casting Luna into the pits of hell for all eternity. The ending image is a lot less effective here, being an edited image of Luna's descent by Petrosaur Pony. The game also doesn't create any extra files on your computer, which was kind of the appeal of the original shot game. The rest are more or less the same, featuring screamer tactics similar to the original games, but also tend to build upon and establish some sort of story with the sequels and even having a prequel to the game as well and a f unofficial fan-made fifth game. It may come as a shock to some when I say just how important this game is to internet culture despite today being a seemingly forgotten relic amongst the countless pile of internet campfire stories of yesteryear. I remember being in middle school, being both into My Little Pony in horror downloading this game and being horrified that I had let a cursed pony demon take residence in my computer. This was before I'm Scared, before Doki Doki. This predated many horror games that would mess with or add files on your computer and before the YouTuber horror craze of 2012. Luna Games sort of set this tone for effective storytelling through simple tactics that, while today may seem outdated, but effectively scared the ever-living hell out of the people who dared cross its path. 
A Luna game maybe doesn't deserve to be considered a good horror game, or even a decent horror game. It's clunky, simple, relies heavily on cheap jump scares, and is all in all just generally short. But, Luna Game does deserve to be recognized as a legendary example of internet mystery. As soon as it came, it left immediately due to the upsetting nature and horror of its content that caused an entire website to change its protocol on downloaded content. Its creator remained anonymous for almost 10 years to this day, and it has engraved its name into not only my mind, but I'm sure others well into the new decade. And that's a lot more than many others before it and after it could say. The world and history of Luna Game is small, but its impact on me is deafening. I still remember the nightmares and fun scares I had back when I was younger. It was great, and it was something we may never get again. But that's not to say it's dead. As many of these internet gaming creepypastas fade into distant memory, new ones arise. New generations will find things in video games and internet culture to be fearful of. We are seeing it now with the Mario 64 Iceberg Conspiracy. It would be cool to see a revival of these types of stories for people to enjoy and trade with each other. Urban legends and campfire stories never die. They just evolve. This has been Yoshimi, and thank you for watching.